Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about for loops in PHP. Now, I need to just explain this to you once over real quick, and then I'll let you type the code in. Of course, I can't stop you, but you can type along with me if you want, if it helps you get better at typing. But what I'm going to do is just kind of show you uh, what a for loop, how the, the structure, uh, the formatting of it is. So expression one is what I'll just write right here. Okay. And then we'll have a second expression, which is expression two, and then a third expression, which is going to be expression three. All right, now each one of these is going to do a different thing, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Below this, we're gonna have a block of code that's executed every time we go through our for loop. So let's talk about what each of one of these expressions are going to do. Every time we enter into our for loop or run it, we're going to look to expression one and with no condition like we'll just we we go it we don't we evaluate it or we execute it so here what we'll do and you can type this along with me if you want is we'll just set this as a counter and we'll set it equal to one okay so every time we enter the for loop we evaluate or run this right here okay now expression two is going to be our conditional now what this means is um as long as this statement is true, we will keep going through the loop. We'll keep looping. So counter, uh, as long as counter is, let's say, less than or equal to 5, then we'll keep going through the loop. Does that make sense? So once this becomes true, we will no longer keep going through the loop. Now expression 3 is going to be executed at the end of every loop. So this is what we do at the very end. And what we'll do for this one is we're going to add a number to counter. So we'll just do what we talked about in the prior episode, counter plus plus that will add one to counter every time. Okay, now the block of code is what we're going to do in the for loop. For our example, we're going to just print out what counter is currently at. So print counter and we're going to concatenate, so counter times, oh, let me do a string, times three, do a space there as well, concatenation times three, actually let's got to put the is right there, counter times three is, we're going to multiply the, the counter by three, so we'll just do what counter is equal to and multiplied by three, that's a four. All right, then one more concatenation. We're just gonna do a new line. So now we're at the end of our statement. We can put the semicolon right here. Make sure that you have your curly bracket right there and there, the beginning of our block of code. And then we end it right there on the line below. Now you can save the file and then run it. And I gotta pull this up. Here we go. Okay, so you can see that we've got one times three is three. 2 times 3 is 6. So here's what's happening. Counter is set to 1 on the first time the first time we go through this for loop. It's at 1. Because it is less than 5, we will go through this for loop. So it says print counter. Counter is currently at 1. So we do 1 times 3 is. Now this is the times 3 string right here. And then counter times 3. So 1 times 3. Boom. And then a new line break because we're going back through this for loop again. And the reason we're going back through this for loop is because this condition is still true. But because we're now at the end of this for loop, we need to counter plus plus right here. Okay, so now counter is two. So counter is now equal to two, and counter is still less than five. Okay, so we come through. Print counter, which is two right here, times three, is counter which is currently two times three now we're not limited to just printing out this one this one thing so we could do other things if we wanted to down here so we could just print out but hello hello we could uh print out hello and then save it and run it you'll see that it says one times three is three and then hello is right down here. Now, this is just because we don't have the new line break. We can actually make that, uh, in we can include that down here. And save. 
There we go. Save that, run it. Okay, so two two times three is six, and then we have this hello right here. Again, space right there, just so it's not so ugly. Now I should say that we will continue through this loop until this becomes false. So if I come out here and I were just to print anything, where out of the loop. Go ahead and save that and run it. And you'll see here, if I raise this, we go all the way through this loop all five times. Once we're done with that, we're out of the loop. All right, guys, my name is Jake from Wild Academy. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also like the video, leave any comments if you have those. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.